Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you, sent through my Golf app. That's the Golf app for Android devices, iPhone, iPad. Get the app. You can hit a button down here at the bottom. You can record your swing or send it through the camera roll. Here's more swings coming at you from people sending through the app. This is the Golf app, not the Ask Golf Guru app. Ask Golf Guru app is Q&A. This is the Golf app. Let's give these guys some help with their golf swing. Let's get stuck in. Okay, another swing coming at you here. Nice sunny day. Looks like you're possibly hitting the ball left to right through the air. Can't really tell. Obviously, without a launch data, these swings are always, these are more just general conversations about uh, what I would see or imagine would go wrong if you went and got a lesson on a good launch model, but hopefully give you a little bit of insight. Let's start with this look. Handle starts there at address. Camera moves a bit here, so it's not the most accurate, but when you come in, the handle has got considerably steeper into impact now this can be done by you straightening up your body early extending a little bit pushing your hips this way as you come in to hit the ball but where i'm seeing much bigger differences with players as they hit their shots is actually getting them to think about the handle as they swing it around them so let me show you what i mean as you take the club back you set the handle back say on x angle angle Take it up behind your head fine and as you drag down you start to really pull on that handle and you actually steepen it as you come in to hit the ball then it starts to rear up as you hit the ball and steepen even more as you swing a little bit to the left let's talk about trying to get this handle to work in a slightly better way help you with strike when you lift the handle this much very hard to hit the middle of the club consistently also for you it looks like it affects your path possibly a little bit to the left would your path which would make the ball curve from left to right if the face was open to it, which I reckon it is. Very hard to close a face to path when you get the handle steepening so much on the way down. So let's give you an idea. All right, guys, you see this one a lot. You start not a bad setup. You take the club back, you pull it down, you steepen the handle as you come in to hit the ball to try and find target. You start really raising the handle to try and straighten up your path. What tends to happen is the face generally is left open, so to the right of a path, which will curl, of course, a little bit of left to right curvature through the air for you to hit balls better in my opinion obviously i definitely stress going and getting a good swing on a 3d launch model like gc2 hnt that i normally use um, but this will give you a bit of an idea and maybe don't go in and ask your pro um i want to see you thinking about the handle a bit more so let's just take the human away look pretend i'm not stood here you swing the club back and the handle sets at this angle you take it up above your head you then pull it down steepening it now that club is going to swing massively to the left if it just keeps spinning. So what you do is you steepen the handle, you come in to hit the ball and you pull it up to try and straighten the path up. So your hitting action happens to be a bit more this way. Okay. What I want you to do is feel like as you get to the top of the backswing, like you just flatten the handle, bring it down to you. I feel like it's parallel to the ground. Actually, it'll be about this angle, but I want you to feel like you are just flattening it down to parallel to the ground. And then as you get around hip height, feel like you then spin the handle. So again, without me holding it, you flatten the handle as it comes down. And then as you get nearer the ball, so hip height with the handle, then spin it out to the ball. It will get you hitting the ball more this way, opposed to this way, which makes it very easy to leave that face open to a path. So look, it's as simple as, I say simple in feeling, it's hard to do. You've literally got to start really thinking about what this handle is doing. Take it up behind your body, just drop it flat to your flat to that ground in your mind so parallel to the ground and then spin it out to the ball now do not drop your hands back that's not the answer lots of people try and do this by dropping the hands back deep in behind them but still steep in the handle which gets them in all kinds of a mess with striking it's not the path your hands are swinging on it's the angle you're setting them at as you start down so you set your hands at this angle on the way back if you take your club above your head you start to pull down you start steepening that angle, the path of your hands is not the big issue. Your path of your hands in the video is a little bit that way, but it's reacting to the steepening of this handle. I'd much rather see you feel like you're just flattening the handle, get down to near the ball and spin the handle. When I say spin the handle, that doesn't mean spinning it this way. It means spinning it out to the ball this way. So around an imaginary point, say in the middle of the grip, not around the axis of the shaft. That's not the kind of rotation you want. Give that a practice, let me know if it helps. It will feel shocking at the start, but it'll change your striking patterns if you can get the feeling of hitting out to the ball more rather than 
this kind of cricket steepening action that you do. Very common with cricketers, actually. I see a lot of cricketers do it that way. It's how they've learned to hit a ball with a bat and they take it over onto their golf as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sending the swing. Hope that helps. Post comments down below. I'd love to hear if that makes sense or not. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.